Let's talk about when Arthur Loki got fat shame. Our store doesn't carry much in the way of husky size. Husky size? What's husky? It means I'm fat. Oh, hey, it's me, Arthur. Come back. If it wasn't for Tony, Tony, oh. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning back in. I'm back with another video, another Arthur video. And this is going to be about an episode that has to deal with weight, gaining weight, trying to lose weight, and exercising, especially for that demographic of young kids that Arthur was, you know, I think Arthur was supposed to be in like that eight, nine, 10 age range, right? For this episode, Arthur weighs in, it dealt with him gaining weight and the insecurities that come along with it and just the motivation to lose the weight, go on a diet, exercise. I chose this episode because I felt like a lot of us can relate to that when it comes to issues or you know problems that we may have had with our weight growing up whether it was gaining weight losing weight or you know being the chubby kid and then oh when you lost weight people looked at you differently or treated you differently yeah, like <laughs> that, okay <laughs> and just all the issues that we may have dealt with as kids or teenagers or even young adults with our weight i even did an episode with you about fat phobia within the proud family a few months ago I'm gonna link it up here and in the description box. Check that one out too because that was another good episode that covered that topic. So this episode really starts out with Arthur trying on pants, right? And this is another thing where I'm pretty sure a lot of us can relate to when you trying on pants and all of a sudden they don't fit or they become too tight and him and DW or like in his room, he's trying to try on these pants because he has a play coming up. And he has to wear a certain outfit. He tries on these pants that he always used to wear, and all of a sudden, the button pops. What's wrong with it? He goes to tell his mother about it. His mother's like, oh, maybe you're going through a growth spurt. You know, you are getting older. That way of thinking makes sense and is reasonable because Arthur and his friends are in those growing stages where they're supposed to be getting older. So, you know, pants that fit you when you was nine shouldn't fit you when you're like 10, 11. But, you know, for the sake of this episode, things get worse when they go to the mall because Arthur's mother's like, oh, let's take you shopping for some more pants because he wanted some nice pants for the play because Mr. Ratburn told him, you're supposed to be a rich man. You're supposed to dress nice. So they go to the mall, go to the store to go shopping. And the pants that Arthur wanted to try on, none of them are fitting. No, oh, we can't seem to find anything that fits. So the store associate comes up to Arthur, measures him, you know, takes his measurements, his waist, his length, and all that. And all of a sudden, he's like, Our store doesn't carry much in the way of husky size. Husky size? And this is where the word husky came up a lot. And I feel like in this episode, husky was a cold word for fat. You know, instead of saying Arthur, you're getting fat. Or the big and tall section, the fat section, they use the word husky a lot. And I can definitely relate to this because I remember when I was in not so much middle school, but in high school, I was considered husky. Well, I've heard people call me that. And I was like, hmm. Wait a minute. Hold on. And even I remember, I don't know if y'all remember, but back in the day, Old Navy, you know, the store Old Navy, they used to have a section of pants that were called husky. And that's what those are the type of pants I used to wear. I'm like. Hmm. Going back to the episode, the man tells Arthur about a husky section he has, right? But when you look at it, it was just like four random outfits thrown in a corner on a little rack. And you could tell they weren't of quality or they didn't have the most variety. They didn't have the best look. They weren't the most attractive looking clothes. And you could tell like for the skinnier people, the slimmer people, right? The slimmer sizes is all of these options but when it comes to the husky or the bigger sizes it's just little throwaways and that's something i feel like most people that are bigger or whatever right can relate to or have bigger sizes can relate to where you go shopping and even when i used to work retail when i worked retail there was a lot of people that would come in like oh where's your size this where's your size that and i'm like oh we don't carry that in store we only carry that online or the clothes that were of the bigger sizes, it didn't measure up to the smaller size clothes where it's like, there's almost like some type of discrepancy. Here we are. Um, is that all 
there is. And that's another thing that used to happen back in the day. When it came to the bigger sizes, there wasn't that much of a variety. There wasn't that many options. You just had to take what was given to you while the size 2, 6, 8, 10, 12, or, you know, the smaller sizes, the extra small, small, medium, large, those had nice options. The bigger sizes, the plus sizes, the husky sizes, you had bottom of the barrel. Oh, my God. You could tell this weighs heavily on Arthur, and he's feeling some type of way. He's feeling insecure. Next time he's at recess with Buster and Brain, he asks them about it, and they're like, oh, mm, uh. Well, you're definitely not fat, but you are out of breath. Buster suggests that he goes on a diet. Back at Arthur's house, Buster talks about all these different diets that his own mother went through, trying to show Arthur, you could do this, you could do that, you could do this. But if you go on the Bushman's diet, you only eat seeds, berries, but then he also tells after that, oh, my mother was on these diets and she still ended up gaining weight. And that's another thing I liked with this after show, with this after episode, is it was realistic in a way. Just because you go on a diet, just because you start a diet, you won't get the same results as that one or this one. Diets work differently for everybody. Everybody's body is different. Some people naturally just have faster metabolisms. Just for example, two people could be the same weight, they could eat the same meal. One person can gain two pounds, the other person can gain four pounds. It's just the way people's body work differently. Sometimes. Always? Not always, no. Sometimes. That means some times. Of course, you have DW coming to add on more to it. No wonder you need husky pants. This making off the feel even worse about his weight. DW being an annoying little sister, she even tried to help Arthur because there's this little montage where Arthur decides to eat healthier and do this and do that. And he still goes into those habits of wanting to eat chips or wanting to eat junk food or the more unhealthy food. And DW is there to stop him and give him fruits and more healthy options. Don't worry, Arthur. I'll help you. <laughs> Drop the chips. Place the chips on the counter. So I like how they had that because, you know, DW is known for being the brat of the show, being an annoying little sister, but even she tried to help him with his weight loss and his diet plan because she could tell that that was a big thing for him. And this is another thing when it comes to like weight loss, weight gain or going on diets. Another part of that is the support system you have around you, especially as a young child growing up. You know, if your parents encourage you, or if your sisters, your siblings, or your friends encourage you to lose weight, or they see you doing, ah, don't eat that, eat this. Or, oh, maybe we shouldn't eat that. Maybe we should eat this. Or, you want to go to McDonald's? Oh, no, let's go to such and such. You know, let's go get a salad. Because, you know, a lot of people might have that system or support system around them. That's like, oh, whatever. You're a grown boy. Eat what you want. Who cares? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you gained two pounds, so what? It is what it is. You know, we're here to eat. We eat to live. You ever heard that? Eat to live, don't live to eat. Something like that. And it's just like, hmm, what you think about that? Like, there was even a moment when Pow, his dog, had to deter Arthur from eating unhealthy. <laughs> and, side note, that's another thing I can say. Anytime I had that thing where, you know, I went to the doctor and they would be like, oh, you're a little overweight. And I got into that mindset of, oh, I got to lose weight. No more McDonald's. No more this. No more that. My mother would support me with that. And anytime I wanted to eat something that was a little, oh, Tony, uh, I thought you said you wanted to. But she would do it in a way that didn't make me feel bad. It would be like, you know, okay, you're right. You know, I do want to lose weight. They, they did say I was a little overweight. Let me eat this instead. Or let me eat that instead. Or, okay, instead of drinking a Sprite, let me drink seltzer water. And this is just another side note. Am I the only one who loves salsa water? You know, I drink regular water and all that. I haven't drunk a soda or a juice in like three years. Because salsa water, if you choose the right salsa water, I'm telling you, if anybody that's struggling with like soda addiction or something like that, try salsa water. The flavored ones, you choose the right one, you won't go back. Just saying. So now we fast forward and after is in a rehearsal for the play. He still can't fit the pants. And Buster says this. He has one, he just can't fit into it. 
Yeah. And Mr. Ratburn can sense that something is a little off with Arthur, so they have a discussion after everybody leaves, and Arthur's like, oh, this and that, like, I'm trying to lose weight, I can't fit into the pants. Mr. Ratburn, trying to show Arthur that this is something that a lot of people go through, tells a story of when he was younger, and he had a little problem, he even called himself a fatty ratty or something like that, a fat rat. <laughs> how when he was younger he had problems with his weight but he found something that he enjoyed doing that was an exercise type of activity where he did it so much he did it so often so consistently that as he grew up he lost the weight he became more fit and more lean and his thing was ping pong i became the fit specimen you see before you today and this in fact gives mr ratburn an idea to do an exercise about this in class. And this is another thing I like with Arthur because they don't just throw stuff at the audience where it's just like, okay, lose weight, diet, this, that. They implicate it in a way where it's like, all right, Mr. Ratburn took that conversation he had with Arthur and was like, you know what? I can make this a conversation for the whole class. It's called a pedometer. It will show you how much exercise you're getting. Who remembers a pedometer? I remember middle school, what was it in high school or you know your PE classes your gym classes where they gave you a pedometer the first time they gave you and your classmates or everybody in the class a pedometer and everybody was like, like put it on their hip or you know their pants or in their book bag or whatever and everybody was tracking their steps and comparing it that part of the episode was real and people were having a competition of who can walk more or who could get the most steps I bet I get 200 easy I bet I get 500 it's been a day or so with the pedometer and after sees that he has taken 800 steps and he talks about it with his family dw and it's like oh 800 steps oh wow you 800 steps 800 wait till everybody else here i can't wait to see the looks on their faces shut up yeah i don't want to hear that then he goes back to school he compares it with his friends and he realizes that his is way lower than everybody else's Thirteen thousand. but i had soccer practice i'm gonna realize Everybody else, like Muffy, Brain, Francine, Buster, they all do after school activities that has to do with moving their bodies, exercising, like dancing or soccer practice. And you know, you know how they like to change things by episode. Wasn't Arthur on the soccer team? That's another thing. Like Arthur was always doing these activities with his friends, whether it was soccer or baseball. But now all of a sudden he's such a couch potato, he's so lazy, he don't do nothing. I was busy. I went swimming. I play catch with pal. But within this realization, Arthur has an epiphany. It's like, oh wow, everybody else is doing these activities and I'm just at home doing the bare minimum. Watching TV, laying on the couch, not really moving his body. So then that makes him want to do more. And by the time you know it, it's been three weeks. It's time for him to put his pants on again, those same pants with the button that popped. He tries them on and they fit now. Well, here goes. They fit! Within this episode, you saw all the different sides of it. From him being insecure and people making all these different comments about his weight and him being like, oh wow, like am I getting fat? Am I getting big? And him feeling so different. And it's like everybody else is so fit and at a good weight and I'm big and fat and husky and I'm a couch potato and I'm so this, I'm so that. And that's another thing a lot of kids go through too. Some kids are good at hiding it. You know, teenagers, young adults, even me, you know, in my late 20s, I still have those moments where I, I might get on a scale and be like, wait a minute, hold on. This is a realistic thing. And this is why I love talking about Arthur episodes because they add that realistic element to it. I can't even bring this conversation when it comes to my cat because I recently took my cat to the vet, right? And the vet assistant, as soon as we brought her in the room, took out the bag, was like, oh, she's a little chubby. And I'm like, okay. And then, you know, the vet came in and do an evaluation and was like filling her and stuff. It was like, oh, yeah, she's a little chubby. And I'm like, oh my God. Now, when I first got her, she was like six pounds and but I felt like she was just like bones. She was really thin. You could feel her bones. You could see her ribs a little bit. And I got her from a shelter. So, you know, over time I fed her, you know, I did my research. And she ended up, by the time we went to the vet, she was 11 pounds. She went from 6.7 pounds to like 11.2 pounds. And you know, 
and cat weight, one pound is like 15. So two pounds, three pound, four pound, five pound gain weight. And it's like, oh my God, she's so big. Oh, she's chubby. Blah, blah, blah. And at first I got kind of offended, but then I'm just like, wow, it's all about the balance. You know, even when you take your cat to the vet, they'll let you know, okay, okay, you don't want that to affect your health. You don't want that to affect your cat health. You know, with animals, humans, whatever the case is, it's all about finding a balance. Like I said earlier, some people's bodies handle things differently. Some people's metabolisms are faster. You know, some people can eat a whole bunch and still stay slim. Some people can eat a salad for the whole day and not lose one pound. But then when they eat, you know, something from McDonald's, they gain five. It's just everybody's body is different. With this off the episode, I liked how they incorporated the realistic elements into it where it comes to like people low-key fat shaming you or you feeling insecure. Or you go you go shopping and you gain a little weight. And now you can't fit clothes that look nice. You gotta settle for like the little scrumpy, little ugly looking clothes. You, you might have that little moment in time where you wanna exercise now. And, you more on your fitness journey and eating more healthy foods and you got people around you like, oh, don't eat that, don't eat that, eat this instead. Like, all of these are realistic elements that I've experienced. Have y'all experienced this? If you feel comfortable enough sharing, what were y'all experiences when it comes to like your weight, you know, losing weight, gaining weight, going on a diet, how people looked at you in school? Like, how do you feel this off the episode play into the realistic elements that happen as we get older, as we go through puberty. And some of us have weight problems. Let's discuss this down below. I know a lot of y'all gonna have a lot to say because when I did the fat phobia episode about the Proud family, there was a lot of discussion about it. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's all about self-discipline and knowing what's best for your body and your health. And I can't wait to read your comments, interact with y'all, see what y'all got to say about this. Because although this could be seen as like a little off the episode that was on PBS Kids, it really discussed an issue a lot of kids and young adults go through. Please leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.